guidebooks, the film is showing in eight Paris cinemas, 24 hours a day. So I'm going off to try and find one of them. Why is this film so popular here? It's true that the film has an enduring appeal. It is surely a movie uh, about violence and with violence for violence's sake. But um, uh, I think that many French people, uh, um, because partly they didn't know that Kubrick was American, thought it, the film was a sample of British eccentricity, that it was part you know, of, a, of a cliche that they had in their mind about the, the, the Britain. It has to do with Edith Sitwell and the gothic novels and things like that in, in, some, um, in the mind of some of us, yes. Orange Mechanique, as it's known over here, is both a cult movie and a commercial success. The French must perceive it in a different way to us. Mind you, back in 77, they had Plastic Bertrand. We had the Sex Pistols. The British people took it as a documentary. Uh, here in France, we took it as a fantasy. There is a whole tradition in France of, uh, in literature, I mean, of a of, you know, erotic or sexual excess. 72, that's the date of a clockwork orange, and that's also the date uh, when the 120 Days of Sodom, the great scandalous novel by Sad, was published by Christian Bourgois in pocket books. So compared to Sad, you know, um, I would say that clockwork orange is just a Disney movie. Oh, uh, please. Merci. I'm finally going to get to see it. It's an important movie, it's an important piece of popular culture, it's an important work from someone who is, like it or not, one of the major filmmakers still currently active. And I think it's still an interesting and a good film. Well, now that I've finally seen the film, I'm not sure what I feel. I don't have to worry about seeing it anymore. But in some ways, I wish I hadn't. I preferred the myth of A Clockwork Orange to its reality. As Andy Warhol once said, not doing something is more fun than doing it. Also, as an unknown quantity, a clockwork orange could represent the ultimate film, thriving invisibly upon its reputation. Perhaps, in the end, a clockwork orange is the perfect cinema experience, a film you don't actually have to see in order to experience the power of its myth. It took over a decade to write and nearly as long to get published. BBC Two now provides a gripping and sometimes hilarious.